guys, welcome back to the Mary Boozers RC channel. Today we have our Eindecker out here. This is a Papa conversion plane. What Papa likes best, converting yep. one of these old gas planes over to electric. I'm having a ball, and if you guys don't try this, you're just missing something is all I can tell you because I have a ball converting these old gas airplanes over. I don't know exactly know what kit this was. I remember there was a, a Great Plains, something like this back in the um, 80s, 90s, somewhere like that. Could be that, could be anybody's. But it's one of those fun scale, it's built to look like an iron decker but it's built to fly mm -hmm. rather well it's kind of it like it's kind of like an ugly stick right i mean it's a look it looks like an iron decker but it's an ugly stick you can't beat them got a long wheelbase so it doesn't have any tendency mm -hmm. to flip over or anything like that now it doesn't have a steerable tail wheel but it doesn't take that much you know, to take the it only off. other thing is we couldn't figure out how to put a battery hatch in this so we just yeah. have the two screws to take the wing on and off to put the battery in and in but you know guys it it's really not that big a deal it's got an e-flight 25 on it 32 it's got a, 32 and then it's got a 50 amp speed yes, control yep and uh we've got just the plastic prop i can't remember what size it is can you well, look at remember. it real quick tell these guys it what it is say. it's the one off of the uh dynam albatross funny enough i had that wood prop say. i'm gonna say it, it's like a 10 10 eight, 6 10 8, 10 8 something like that anyway guys Plastic. we're gonna get this out to the field we're gonna show you how it flies uh if the wind stays like it is we'll take off down the runway if we're down there in a minute and it's not we'll take off into the wind so here we go guys out of the field with our eindecker 4s powered it does sound like we've got a uh, uh, card in the spoke. We don't yeah, know why. <laughs> it sounds like it's got a loose bearing somewhere, but... Uh, we got this motor free somewhere, and it's always sounded like this, but hadn't failed us yet, so... We did fly this back in one of our live performances. <laughs> the wind has shifted on us. It's yeah. coming from that way now. Really? Let me see if I can turn this guy around. It has shifted, has it? Wind's oh, that way there. now. But here we go. Let's do this. Yep. Sounds like an old World War One plane, don't it? Look at it. Uh, ah, I 32. love this plane. I mean, it, 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 it's a 40 size airplane, but but we had that 32 motor, so it might be just a little bit underpowered. It's half it's, throttle. I mean, yeah, it's just kind of scoops. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. We, we could have get a little bit more performance if we'd have put a 40-ish electric motor on it i i think it's a ball how it is well it's a world war one plane you want to fly it scale here we go yeah we don't have to fly at a million hours an hour it just flies real slow and it doesn't have a lot of bad tendencies it's an ultra stick basically on the but inside it, it'll fly a little faster than oh that. yeah it's only half throttle but yeah it's got that little bit of yeah we're gonna put a man in. We're gonna put one of them little men that's got the little pointed helmet on him. Eindeckers were early in the war, guys. World War One. Hey, fun, fun, fun. Does everything you want it to do. Yep. But it's so fun to find one of these old planes. I'm just telling you guys, you're you're overlooking something if you're not watching me do these conversions on these old wood planes. It's just a fun airplane too, in general. And you know, just and I'm enjoying myself doing them. I mean, it, they're they're a little bit more work, but I just believe there's a there's a place out there in our sport today to do these conversions. And if you don't, you know, hey, you know about these conversions, you don't have, if you go to a fun fly or at your field, you don't have another Me Too plane, right? Right, and I think I paid $25 for this airplane at a swap meet. You don't see very many of them anymore, so you could have the only one at the field. But you have to put that effort into it to find it and convert it. But 
Proof is in the video, what you get. Uh, it's, got, it's just fun. Look how docile. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> it is a fun airplane. <laughs> I mean, well, at least we got the wind. We were the wind is cooperating now. now. the wind is cooperating with us. And, uh, uh, and I'm going to say this is going to be a five-minute airplane. Oh, yeah. We're flying on on a three. What is what was three S or four S four thousand? Okay, four S four thousand. Oh, look how dark! <laughs> look how! Oh, oh, oh! Isn't that isn't that fun? It's amazing how good this airplane flies. I it's wish fun. there was more World War Two or World War One planes out there. Some of them fly so good. This is a, one of the best ones I've ever flown. Yeah, because, the way the gear are on it. Yeah, but, but but it's because it's a single wing and biplanes are, are a pain. Which we're going to show you some of those too. But uh, there's a, just a lot more to get right on those old World War One World War One planes. And one of the biggest things you have to remember on those old biplanes in World War One, you got to wait the crap out of the nose if you ever do one of those guys just remember to put a lot of weight in the nose and get the CG right you can see where we did one wrong because I, I, my memory had slipped oh, I like the noise don't you I like that noise oh, oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> docile docile Fun, fun, fun. All right. Well, I'm going to call that a great flight of the old Iron Decker. Let's turn it in. It's just a joy. Power off, glide it. Use the rudder. Little throttle. No, no tail wheel. No tail wheel, so you really gotta use the throttle to drive it. What a plane. I think we got the prop too. Ooh. The prop's good. There it is, guys. The Eindecker is all complete. Did Papa do it again? He did, it, did again. He it again. This is a fun airplane. And actually, this is an airplane that I would like us to do some customizing on. We've been practicing our ribbing. We've been trying some new stuff where we've cut some strips out and been spraying some colors over it. And I think this is a good airplane for yeah, us to do it, it on. Everybody liked our Papa dots on the rivets on like World War II planes and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But I have been asked to research or find out a way. And the only way you can really do this is either stick something on it or do what we're going to do as far as the painting. Right. And we've been trying some different we're, stuff. And, and we, we want to bring it to you when we do. But yeah. World War One planes, God, we've done a lot of World War I planes well, lately. Well, lately, yes. We, we've, <laughs> we've, we've got, uh, well, we've, we've got... Y'all guys haven't seen some camel. of them yet, but... And we've got a tremendous amount of biplanes coming. I mean, I'm amazed how many biplanes. Yep. And biplanes are wasn't my forte, but I guess so they're going to be. They're getting there. <laughs> so, but, anyway, oh, this plane, yeah, fantastic. Uh, a lot of fun. This is the easiest like this, World War I plane I've ever flown. It's just like flying an ultra stick or something, but you get the cool looks. If you're looking for something to build in the future to make something... World War One, but different. You know, the only thing I'd do to this plane, and I don't know if I'd do it or not, but just up up the size of the motor. Maybe. I kind of like it the way it is. Yeah. It's not it's not overpowered, but no. it's not underpowered. So. No, but uh, yeah, but uh, that's the only thing I'd do to it. Well, maybe. guys, if you are uh, interested in buying one of these, you can't. So no link down in the description. I could maybe put some links to the power systems and stuff we've used, but... If you want some of our shirts, those are down in the description. And if you want an Eindecker, you got to get out there and build you one. So. Well, go look for them, guys. I <laughs> right. mean, we find these things all the time. Uh, you yeah, know, we buy them there. used. 
The uh, gas old planes used are everywhere and cheap. And they're cheap. I so, mean, uh, you, you, unfortunately, you don't have to pay a lot for them. So, the, the only thing you do is, is kind of use your noggin and look at them and cut some the hatches into them and the mounting of the motor and everything else is the same. So Well, anyway, guys, we're going to let y'all go. We're going to keep on getting to flying today. It's a beautiful Florida day. Sucks if y'all live up north. I'm sorry. Yep. It's but, Thanksgiving you know, Day. It's Thanksgiving it? Day today. We are, we are the Boozer family is Thanksgiving flying. So yep. we're going to see y'all in the next video. Like, share, subscribe. See you later. Thank you.